Hey y'all. Welcome to Beebert Games. Um, the channel where, if you don't believe it or not, I've tried to film this particular game like three times already. The first time I was like, oh god, wait, the people have to see this when I was like five minutes in. And then the, the, um, well, I guess that technically wasn't the first time because I wasn't filming at all. The third time I'm trying to play, let's say that. Okay, the first time I'm trying to film, for real, I got like deep into it and realized I was locked into a route that I didn't want to do. Because I want to do that one. I want this route. This guy right here with the uh, light green background, like the lime green, all the way at the end, okay? Damn. I don't even know if you can see the cursor because it's not showing up in OBS for me, but yeah. Him. <laughs> and I got in someone else and I didn't want that. But anyway, let me see about reading you guys the game description and all that so you know what we're getting into. Under maintenance, an everyday dramedy ultimate game that begs the question. When one game goes down for maintenance, can another game begin? Um, and the general story is that after a rough day at work, all the MC wants to do is settle in with her favorite game only to realize it's gone down for maintenance. And how is she supposed to pass the time if she can't play her favorite game, right? The hashtag relatable. And so it's either risk going to a watering hole to drown her sorrows, or Gradually scroll through a dating app and meet the love of her life for the night. I read that wrong. Just love for the night. There's no life. I was getting ahead of myself. I was getting excited about romance and love. <laughs> uh, either way, adventure shenanigans and hot singles in your area await. Disclaimer heartache probable. Choose wisely. And I was really excited for this game because you can name the protagonist, which is kind of normal, but you can also choose her skin and hair color. Um, it's got partial voice acting, um, about 65,000 words, four routes with multiple endings, but you know me. I'm not going to go chase after those other routes, honestly, especially because with this game, it seems like it's locked in at the very beginning of the game. <laughs> Which is rough. Like, I really liked Hearts and Hexes where it was like, it literally doesn't matter until the very end when you choose. I liked that. So yeah, I will probably only be doing this one route. You know. We'll see. But most likely, yeah. I'm not even gonna make a promise. There's a floofy cat! Yay! We love cats! Uh, there's an in-game texting function where you can text with your nameable BFF. There's also accessibility options which is cool. I love that a lot of games are starting to do that now. Um, content warning for strong language, suggestive sexual themes, and mentions of alcohol and alcohol use. And in very tiny letters, it says also Mark. Mark is one of the characters we meet. He's very irritating. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, okay. I'll, let me t let me tell you the love interest names. Okay, I'll do them in order of how they are on the title screen here. We have Theo, who is 32, 62, birthday September 20, September 2nd. I don't know where I got 20 from. I'm so illiterate. <laughs> and then we have Luca, birthday August 8th, 28 years old, height 6'1, 185 centimeters. Theo is a uh, 187. I'd be forgetting to read that for my non-Americans, which is weird because like most of my internet friends are non-American. Whatever. <laughs> Tristan, okay, who was born February 27th, almost that leap year, he just messed up. <laughs> Age 32, height 5'11 or 180 centimeters. And then finally we have Mark. He's so annoying. Oh my god. I feel like I could fix him, but maybe somewhere way, 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 way down the line because I really can't replay games back to back. It burns me out on them. But yeah, Mark, December 1st, age 30, height 183, which is a clean six foot. Yep. 
and inside character, Mr. Studio Girl. Height, fluffy. We don't know any other information. He's just fluffy. He's just a little fluffy guy. That's the cat. <laughs> but yeah, we can go ahead and get into it. Hold on. Let me make sure I have all of my affairs in order. Which is a really dramatic way to say make sure I got all the tabs that I need open, open, and where they need to be. And da 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 da, -da and blah 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 blah. And yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh me, oh me. Sorry, I'm doing something else and I just I made a mistake. Oh me, oh me, oh me. And I can't stop saying oh me. It's really kind of a sickness, like I watched Castaway Diva and now all I say is oh me instead of oh mo or O M G or oh god. Okay. Phone, yep. Keys check. Oh uh, Lip gloss I've managed to go a week without losing. Still got it. Oh, work. Girl, you got your whole life together. Let me quick save. Oh. Badge? Hey, where's my work badge? Girl, you done lost your work badge. Maybe you don't have your life together. Six months ago, I took a position that required me to move to a new town. A fresh start in a fresh place. But... Without warning, my company decided to shutter that office almost as soon as I arrived. Yay! So, with barely a severance check in hand, I had to scramble to find a new job. A girl's gotta eat, you know? Right. Which brings us to today. Me, living my exciting, glamorous life as a temp retail manager at a seasonal store in the local mall. You know the kind. In the spring, they sell big plants and plastic garden gnomes. In the winter, it's shitty looking wreaths and the ugliest Christmas ornaments. I guess I'm just waiting for something better to come my way. If something better ever comes my way. Someday. Someday doesn't look like today, though. Today, I seem to have lost my work badge. So now I get to wait for security to let me into the store while I call HR about getting a replacement. Thank you for calling the OE Human Resources. How can we not, how can we not help you today? Hi, ah, yes, I need a replacement work badge. Of course, let me just look you up on our system. What's your name and position? Um, my girl Dahlia, you know, for those who don't know, I have like two uh, visual novel MCs that I use for everything outside of our life is Dahlia and Alana. Dahlia is the main one. Alana is if I need to have a second one. <laughs> it saves me the pain of having to use my own name and having to think of more names. And only using my own name part. God, I hate being put into the situations. I know some people play visual novels to be like in their own ideal romantic world and stuff like that i hate it i don't want to be that I, it's, it's just like reading a book for me i don't want to be the character i want to read about a character <laughs> dahlia i'm the temporary manager at the small town location oh perfect okay we can see your file now for identity confirmation please answer your security question what is your best friend's name <laughs> you know it's gonna be my girl alana Thank you, Dahlia. It looks like your picture's outdated. Do you have the DOE app? Yes. Well, we will hold while you take and upload a current photo to that app so we can get your file updated. I open the app on my phone and try to look as professional as possible. Bullshit. Okay. Way Yeah, I like the black more. Look at work. Her eyes are scaring me. They're like so dark and purple. <laughs> I'm scared. Thank you. Just to confirm everything, your name is Dahlia. You are a temporary manager. You are 30 years old and your employee identifier is I hate this. Correct? Well, XX, I hate this. XX. <laughs> correct? That is so correct, Vespi. Yes. 
Excellent. Please give us six to 12 months to process. <laughs> Jeez, wait a minute. Six to 12 months is crazy. And send out your new badge. <laughs> wait, what? They hung up. You've got to be kidding me. Will the store even be around in six to 12 months? Probably not, girl. I guess you just won't have a badge. Or you can go find yours. Like, just because you lost it, don't mean it's like gone forever. It might be under something in your house. It could be in your car, you know? But it can only go up from here, right? <laughs> don't say that. Those are cursed words. You never say that. Little did I know that my day was going to get worse. So much worse. Right? Like you jinxed it. What the actual hell was today? <laughs> As if losing my badge at the start of the day wasn't bad enough, it had been one of the busiest days at the store in a long time. Oh, you got those Stanley Cups, didn't you? People are obsessed with Stanley Cups, which I don't get. I literally don't get the hype. And it's a collaboration with Starbucks, and I thought we were boycotting Starbucks. What happened to that? Y'all really let capitalism win. I thought we were boycotting Starbucks. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> Who would have guessed anyone would go crazy for bubble lawn ornaments? Well, at least the new chapter of Heavenly Love dropped during my shift. Heavenly Love is this ultimate gotcha game I've been playing. I hate gotchas. <laughs> A hardcore resource management simulator woven into a story filled with gut-wrenching angst. Plus, all the hottest JP... JPEGs of, of 2D men a girl can spend on. I hate gotchas. Oh my god. Like... Like... Hold on. Let me... Let me... Let me look something up to make sure I'm not saying something inaccurate. <laughs> yeah i hate gotchas but what i was gonna say was not quite a gotcha so it doesn't matter anymore but i'm still gonna say it um promise of lenyon it's a game where i love 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 the story you get to play from the male or female perspective of two people starting out as um different authorities in the palace like one is a court official one's a doctor and i love the game i love it so much i love the story but then it's got this whole element where you have to do dungeons and you have to grind to get points to do this and that and this and that and you can't read the story like certain chapters are locked behind leveling up and i hate it like the story is so engaging the art is so beautiful but i'm forced to level up constantly and sometimes it takes weeks if you don't spend money just to read the story and i'm so mad about it i really want them to make that part optional because i would so play that game every single day and read that story all the way through if it wasn't like hell to get to it but anyway <laughs> back to the game that's free <laughs> it has three main love interests and a fourth that used to be secret but was recently added to the main cast honestly who needs to date when i have four husbands oh, well, i'm not saying that word when i have four husbands to keep me company god the cringe this is why i was like everybody needs to see this because i cannot suffer alone y'all have to cringe too period <laughs> I pour a glass of my favorite drink and settle into play. Heavenly love. Dear professionals, in order to improve the game experience, the server will be under maintenance. If the maintenance is not completed within the specified time period, the period of maintenance will be extended. You will not be able to log into the game during the maintenance period. We are sorry for your disappointment. Really? Ah, oh, today's the little worst. I can't believe this is happening. Did I break a mirror? Step on a crack? Seriously, how can this day get any worse? Please stop saying that. You're jinxing us. Actually, no. I don't want an answer to that. Right. Like, be quiet. After a long sip of my drink, I close the app and open my texts. Hey. 
Hey, Dahlia, what's wrong? I've had the worst day. Oh my god. Oh no, mine isn't that great either. Is your game down too? Yes, you too? I wrote to customer service, but all I got was thank you for your understand. <laughs> Very accurate to the... Um, what is the word I want? The mobile phone ultimate experience, I guess. What? How does that answer anything? Oh, I don't know what am I supposed to do now? Um, read a book. Read fan fiction. Um, go on Tumblr. Do something. There are things to do, Bessie. Well, maybe they're not as great as 2D husbands. Husbands. But I know it might cheer you up. Maybe you can use the dating app. What dating app? Oh my god, you haven't even opened it? I can't recall. Come and I don't recall. Blinder, I made you a profile like so long ago. Oh, that dating app. I actually have a date lined up here tonight. Hoping it'll make my not so great day better. Wink. Come on, just give it a shot. Um, no, but don't die on your date, bestie. I would miss you. I mean, the worst that could happen is that you get a great story to tell. The worst that could happen is that I get axe murdered. I'm pretty sure there are worse things that could happen, like being locked up in somebody's basement. Still, I couldn't deny that they may have a point. I stew over the dating app for a bit. I'm just gonna go out and find somebody to, to talk to. Honestly, I don't, I don't want to do that. Call me old-fashioned, but I've never been a huge fan of dating apps. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Whatever happened to meeting someone while you're out and about? A chance encounter? Seeing someone across a room that catches your eye? Feeling the earth stop spinning on its axis as that person comes into full focus? The rest of the room fading away into nothing? You mean like Tony and Maria? They... <laughs> People died at the end of that. <laughs> I still believe in heart pounding goosebump and you saying sensation that you get the first time you see something that strikes your fancy. That oh no, they're hot kind of feeling. I said that in Squidward's voice in my head. <laughs> but maybe I'm just a hopeless romantic, aren't we all? It's not like those moments have ever got me anywhere with romance. Right. After all, Prince Charming is a myth. Much like multiple orgasms. <laughs> I put aside the blinder app while I start browsing yo help for something else to do. You literally have a whole house of things. I, I get it though. I see a listing for a locally owned bar that caters to grown-ups. Oh good, because the last place I want to be is around a pack of screaming fall down drunk 20-somethings that may accidentally throw up on my shoes. Right. It's so true, bestie. The reviews rave about friendly bartenders and clean tables, free of any kind of sticky residue. And they have an open mic happening almost weekly. Oh my god, we should go. I don't know if you want to perform, but we could go watch somebody. <clears throat> the open mic could be fun. Just see what kind of disaster would throw themselves to the wolves. Yes. Um, let's go to the bar. Did you guys like that? that was, it was a little jingle. I came up on the spot just then. <laughs> I'm choking on something. And I have been for like the past five minutes. So if I ever stop abruptly or you hear a weird sound, it's because I'm dying. I take a shortcut by my complex through an alley. It's the quickest way to reach the bar. Huh? What was that? Quick before the hyena come. Suddenly, feeling something fuzzy rub against myself. Oh my god. I cannot read. I suddenly feel something fuzzy rub itself against my leg. Jesus. Oh my god, it's him. He has eyebrows. Meow? <laughs> oh, it's just Cat. Hey there. The fluffy white cat meows loudly as he does a figure eight around my legs. I bend down to see if there's a collar hidden under his furry neck. Oh, no collar. 
Are you stray? Sorry, kitty. I can't take you home. I can barely take care of myself. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Where's my function button? Sorry. I'll find someone to take you in, though. Promise. Huh? It looks like they already have food. I can't help but feel bad for the cat. At least someone is feeding them, though. I pet its fluffy head and continue on my way. Quick before, I've walked past this bar a couple times on my way to and from work, but I never stepped inside. No time like the present. <laughs> While it's not terribly busy inside, there are quite a few people in here. I let my eyes wander and see a handsome, if a bit grungy looking man fixing the beer tab. He's so hot. Music band. I love that band. <laughs> I love music band. Who wouldn't like to be? I'm so obsessed with this game. Just didn't bother coming up with names for things because it's funnier to use defaults. Small town. Music band. It's so good. I'm obsessed. Who wouldn't like to meet a man who's good with his hands? As I'm admiring the handyman, I hear the crowd busk about a lack of beer and cola. The drinks must all be part of the same pressure system. Glancing over to the open mic area, an adorable looking guy is setting up a mic. Not adorable. Also, <clears throat> maybe I'll put in a clip right here, but I feel like you guys need to witness this guy's stand-up set that he does, because it is insane. Actually, Hold on, let me take a second and see if I even have. I might have deleted it in my frustration, so we'll see. Okay, yeah, I found it. Um, stick around, because I will put it at the end of the video. Maybe after the uh, end credits. <laughs> I wonder what kind of performer he is. Could be a musician, maybe a singer, hot. She's so cringe. I'm kind of obsessed with her. Like, she embarrasses me. I'm embarrassed to be her. <laughs> Ow. Oh. <laughs> my <laughs> my watch just took some of my the hair on my wrist. That hurt. Okay. <laughs> the, the open mic guy looks like he would be afraid to drink a mixed beverage, but also might be into something classic. Why is she classing everyone by what they drink or what they're doing? She <laughs> don't know why I just thought of it. It's been forever since I've had a Shirley Temple. Well, I'm glad I decided to go out tonight. The place is cute, and it's also filled with very nice-looking bodies. People. I mean, people. Girl, calm down. You're making me embarrassed. <laughs> Making my way to the fairly crowded bar, I spot the only NPC sandwiched between the wall and a redhead guy. I look for a place to set down my bag when I hear someone's voice a little too close to my ear. You can set it on the bar. Oh, God. It's not sticky. <laughs> God. God, I'm shaking. Somebody please get him some brown contacts. Oh. Excuse me? You're back. You can set it on the bar. What if I don't want to? Uh, okay, thanks. You must be new around here. I've never seen you before. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy is also cute, but I don't know why he's talking so close to me. It makes me a little uncomfortable, so I shift away from him. Even though the redhead guy is drinking a cheap beer at the moment, he has he definitely looks like he'd enjoy the latest Rick Rock custom drink that tends that tears up your kidneys. And you must be a regular. Just doing my part to support the local economy. Mm, that's so fair, Bestie. Mark, what did I tell you about bothering my customers? Oh my god, somebody get him contacts too. I'm scared. They're staring into my soul. <laughs> Bothering? Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, you you guys are terrifying me. Please. More like you're bothering us right now. Oh. Oh, he angry. Oh, he mad. Oh, he mad. Don't you have glasses to wash or something? Oh. Oh. Whatever, man. I'll be back. Uh, okay. Bye, Mark, I guess. Wow, even the bartender is cute. Girl. 
He definitely looks like the type to drink whiskey from a small independent distillery or a handmade soda. How prestigious. The bartender rolls his eyes and turns his attention to me. Sorry about that. He's perfectly harmless. Can I get you something to drink? Um, okay. Yes, please. Do you have a favor? Hmm. Well, it depends on what you're in the mood for. We have beer, some cocktails, and a pretty decent selection of non-alcoholic drinks. Hmm. Well, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> Usually, when I play, I don't really have the choice to, like, not make my character drink. So I think I'm gonna go that route today. I don't think she's gonna drink, because I don't drink. You know? Freedom of choice. Yeah. <laughs> Order a soda. No alcohol for me today. What sort of sodas do you have? He hands me a list of the top soda choices. Hmm. Okay, listen. I'm gonna be real. I am following a walkthrough. And in order to get something, I mean, in order to do the route I want, I have to order a cola. Even if I want to order a Shirley Temple for posterity, because she just mentioned it. But we're going to do a cola. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to be basic today. One cola, please. <sighs> You're about to get either very unlucky or very lucky. Our pressure systems went out of whack, but Theo was here with his gang and he volunteered to help. He's fixing the soda gun at the moment. Theo, chapter one. Okay. We did it, y'all. We did it. We got the right route. Last time it was Tristan. But, um, since they gave us, like, a little chapter card, I think I'm gonna stop right here. Yeah, see, that's where I was playing and accidentally got Theo. But yeah, I'm gonna stop here for now. I am enjoying this thing, even if I'm terrified every time this one and Mark are on screen scary shaking please god get them some brown contacts <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna end it here um we get to meet theo in the next one and yeah i'm enjoying this game so far which i knew i would which is why i wanted to share it with y'all um yeah i don't have anything else to say there's really nothing to say we, we started that was the prologue yay thank you so much bye Hello, my name is Tristan. It's great to be here with you tonight. Oh, chum. He introduces himself to the dozen-ish people sitting in the crowd. Most of them caught up in their own conversations, hardly paying attention to him at all. Oh no, that's him. <laughs> I'm not supposed to meet him here for another 20 minutes. He must have planned it so I would arrive after he finished his set. Oh no. If I get up and try to leave now, he'll definitely see me. Guess I'm gonna see his act. Yeah, just, if it's embarrassing, act like you didn't see it. Recently, I decided to cancel my cable TV. Uh, has anyone done this? Oh, okay. Oh you my can't god. Just do it online. They actually make you call them or even go to their office. Oh my god. In person. Is he doing stand up? Oh no. Oh no. He grimaces as if to punctuate the horror of actually having to engage in a face-to-face -face interaction with a stranger. I can't do this. Help me. I am still clinging to some of my will to live, though. So I called them up. Oh, God. There's a whole process to it. First, they make you match wits with the automated phone operator. This is painful. It's like encountering a sphinx of antiquity. Except instead of answering riddles, you just get the shout, Representative! Over and over until it lets you pass. Oh my god, help me. A stand-up routine? This seems fine. It's not funny, though. Hey. Mark, <laughs> Mark taps me on the shoulder. Psst. What the fuck's a sphinx? <sighs> well, you know, Egypt, the pyramids, what goes on four legs in the morning, two in the afternoon, three at night. Mark stares at me with a blank look. 
It's a mythological beast that acts like a guard and makes travelers answer riddles to let them pass. Oh, nerd shit. Oh, God. Yes, nerd shit. Meanwhile, Tristan continues his set. I can't. It's not even funny. After I vanquish the automaton and navigate the labyrinth labyrinthian phone tree, I finally locate the option to cancel my service and find myself face to face with the final boss, the retention specialist. I stand fat. Oh my god, why is his stand-up just like a role play and no actual jokes? I stand fast against my mortal foe and explain that I want to cancel my service. In exchange, they counter my attack with an offer of a free year. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Checkmate. <laughs> Laugh to myself. Um... I wish I was laughing. <laughs> Mark can't seem to shut up about Tristan's performance. Don't be rude, Mark. You know, if you don't have anything nice to say, maybe you could try not to say anything at all. Come on, kindergarten. Oh, what are you, my mother? <laughs> I can't take this. Are you gonna put me in a timeout? Ew, stop moving close to me. Put on some contacts. Ew, never mind. Forget I said anything. I move my drink to the other side of the space of the bar, shifting my weight as far away from the redhead as possible. Now, some people would never be super excited to take a deal like this. Lots of people love the content conglomerate company. The movies, the TV shows, the merchandise, the hotels, the theme parks. Oh. He was trying to get rid of Disney Plus. <laughs> Even me. So... A few years ago, I even went in to visit content conglomerate company land with my wife. <gasps> wife? You got divorced, Tristan? Wife? Mayday, mayday. Red alert, the hull has been breached and we're talking... <laughs> we're talk taking on water, Captain. What the fuck? Babe, people can be divorced. <laughs> and she loved it so much, she got a season pass after that very visit. I thought she just she was just into the rides, you know? But then I found out she really wanted to ride was the big cheese. Ricky wrote it himself. Help! <laughs> oh my god, help me. <laughs> well, not the Ricky Rodin. Just the guy who wears the suit for the meet and greets. So that's a fun story to tell at social gatherings. Hey Tristan, how's your wife doing? Um... Pretty good, as far as I know. She left me for a man in a rodent suit, reducing my self-worth to nearly nothing and leaving me unmoored with no sense of direction in my life. Haha! <laughs> but how about this charcuterie board? I hate this! Jeez! I'm gonna have to end after this scene is over, cause I need time to recover. <laughs> On the bright side, though, after I explain all this to the retention specialist, they let me out of my cable contract. No more questions asked. Thanks for coming. I'm Tristan. Tristan, that was terrible. He finished his set to a round of very confused and slightly uncomfortable applause. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, sounds like your ex might have thanked you for coming if she ever actually came. Ooh. <laughs> Clearly no longer satisfied with throwing his shade on the side, Mark heckles Tristan loudly across the bar. Ooh, that's crazy. <laughs> I don't I don't know what to do. I'm definitely not agreeing with him, cause ill. But do I defend Tristan or do I stay out of it? Cause let's be honest, I am here for Theo, if I if I'm being perfectly real. And I feel like I messed something up in the beginning to where I can't talk to him yet. And I'm very upset about it. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay, I have honor. I'm going to defend him. <laughs> Fed up with prob Mr. I probably peaked in high school and have been taking out on everyone else since, I finally gave him a piece of my mind. Hey, how about you quit being a giant douche nozzle for a change and leave him alone? Not a douche nozzle. Call him an asshole. <laughs> Why don't you make me? Okay. Punch him. <clears throat> oh. I was gonna punch him, Luca. Okay, okay, break it up. Mark, I've warned you about heckling the open mic participants before. Your show's over now. Time to go. The redhead hems and haws, scoffing at the bartender. Yoop doop a doop a doo doo. Ah. Come on, man. I said get out. Don't let me see your face in here for at least a day or two. Mark continues to grumble, but collects his stuff and departs the bar. 
bye girl why are you saying bye to him just let him go <laughs> like even in your mind why are you saying that you thought he was gonna say bye to you before leaving sorry about that the guy's been dealt a crap hand in life and is something of an acquired taste uh-huh i bet well it looks like he'll be meeting your dude in distress before too much longer he's headed this way this is cool perfectly normal a fairy tale romance in the making right god no Uh, while I wait for Tristan, to, I pull out my phone to text my best friend. Well, today continues to be an experience. You try Blinder? Yes? Sort of? I tried Blinder Blitz. <laughs> I haven't even done that. Oh my god. Crazy. How was it? Well, he's really cute. He had me play Bork to talk to him. <laughs> wow, that takes me back. Sound like an old school nerd. It was weird. Not surprised, I mean, what a way to get on Blinder. <laughs> okay, so, you still out? Yep. He just finished stand-up comedy at the bar. It wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. And? It was not funny. And a bit uncomfortable. A lot uncomfortable. Oof. Well, he's coming back to me. Talk to you later. Hey, wait. Be safe and don't die. Oh my god, I plan on it. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I really did end up in Tristan's route. I don't want to play Tristan. Hmm. Okay, you know what, now, okay, I said that I would first play based on choices, and then after that, play based on what I want to do, you know, like, what the route I actually want to get, so I'm, I'm cool with this, I'm gonna be normal about it, we're not gonna be insane and try to back out of this, okay, because you know, Tristan might be cool, he might have a nice backstory, I don't really want to play this game multiple times, though, if I'm being honest. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to s stop playing Tristan's Route. I am. N next time you see me, we will be starting Theo. Because this is my house, and I do what I want. And nobody can tell me otherwise. No, you know what? I'm gonna completely back out of this. I'm gonna restart um, when I film on Sunday and I will upload something else. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. It doesn't matter. <laughs>